What's going on YouTube? I'm back again with my second video and today I'm gonna give y'all a quick look at the vintage check cotton, whatever they call Burberry's. There you go, you see it, boom, bam. So you got your Burberry print all over it. I'm gonna give y'all a slow-mo, not a slow-mo for real. You got Burberry written across the back here. You got your chunky bottom going across here in the white. And as you can see, you got your strap across the top. I love that. You got that print all over the Burberry print. Everybody know about that print. We ain't got to go too much into detail with that. But these shoes are fire. Look at the bottom there. I wear all my shoes. I'm going to start out with the, um, I got four things for y'all today. I'm going to kind of go down the list here, but I'm trying to get a grip on them. We starting out with the looks of the shoe. I'm gonna rate everything and um, starting out these, I give a 10 out of 10. Even though mine are a little dirty because I wear them um, on the white, I don't wipe them off. I, I, I mean, I might wipe them off one time, but um, y'all get the point there. But yeah, anyway, so looks wise, 10 out of 10, like I just said, just because of the print, that's my personal opinion on it. The print on these is spectacular. I mean, they couldn't have done a better job. I think they got another version of these where it's like a lighter print or something, if I'm not mistaken. But um, the Burberry print is just a vintage look, something that's been around forever. Come on, y'all seen these before. Everybody has them. This is one of the go-tos if you get into this uh, designer sneakers or whatever. So I'm gonna go down my list here. So if y'all see me peeping over, and I'm gonna give y'all a look at the shoe box and everything moving forward. Matter of fact, I got a bag here with me, went in the store, that make you feel like a boss, they give you this big bag, huge bag, Burberry on the front. And um, number two on the list, I got the comfort of the shoe. I ain't gonna lie, man, shoe looks beautiful, all that good stuff, but not the most comfortable, I mean, they're not horrible, but I have to give it like a five out of six, I mean a five or six out of 10, Something along those lines, cause um, I mean they cool, but if you wear them all day, and then they got like a weird this is this is my personal opinion. They got like a weird um, I don't know when you put your foot on it, it's like like it's like like your uh, feet scrunched up in the shoes or something. I don't know what it is. Not talking bad about them. It's not a deal breaker. If you like the um, colorway and everything, the print, I say go for it. You should get you a pair. Number three on the list. We got the price point. Price point on these is, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's $770, that's before taxes, so you can add in a few dollars here and here. They'll probably even out to like 800 something dollars after you um, add the taxes in, depending on where you live and all that good stuff. I'm going down on this quick here, but number four, the sizing on this shoe. So the size on these, I wear 13 in men's, obviously in men's, but that's a 46 in Italy and overseas and all that good stuff. Um, I had to take the insoles out just to be able to fit these. That's how bad I wanted them. I mean, I was walking around the store forever, you know, walking around trying to see if I like them and all that without the insole. I'm like, I don't even care. I'll figure all that out later. These things gotta come to the crib with me, man. Look, I mean, they're beautiful. Look, I'm gonna give y'all another look at them. Look at them, come on, come on. Look at that, you'll love to wear those. So yeah, um, that's pretty much that. I'm gonna give y'all a quick look at the box. Like I said, they're really small. Um, I recommend either taking the insole out, I'll let that fall over there so y'all bear with me. Take the insole out, if you absolutely have to, I want to say they don't have half sizes. That's the reason I had to do that. Or the store I went to, I go to the Burberry store. They didn't have um, half sizes. I don't know which one it is. Y'all can go to the store and find out. For all, so. But I like to go to the store online or online. I like to get it right then and there, get it out of the way, take them right to the crib. With me. That's it. So got the box here with my insoles. I was just talking about. Then you got your. London, Burberry, blah, 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 dust bag. I don't never use these things, but I'm just dropping stuff everywhere. And then you got your cushions, of course, to 
I don't ever put them back in the box or anything, but yep, yeah, so that's pretty much that. I'm gonna give y'all a look at the top of the box wrapped up as usual. How all the designer brands do it. Y'all know how that goes. Yep, that's your box. Burberry London, blocking my head out. Um Trying to see if they have, okay, so they don't have a price point on here. And these are considered, they just say low top sneakers on the box there. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoy just a quick um, rundown of these shoes. Y'all seen them all over YouTube, all on the internet already. It's nothing special. They're a little special to me. Burberry, probably my favorite brand. So that's that. Y'all, thanks for tuning in again. Y'all showed a lot of love on my first video. I'll catch y'all on the next one.